In this video, I will show you how to fix gameplay lag in EAFC24. So let's jump straight into it. Now, experiencing gameplay lag in EAFC24 can of course be very frustrating. Lag can be caused by various factors, including network issues, system performance, or game settings. So what I've done, I've created a quick guide with some steps you can follow to reduce or fix your gameplay lag in EAFC24. Now, of course, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is check your internet connection. So you want to ensure you have a stable and fast internet connection. What you can do is use a wired ethernet connection instead of Wi-Fi for a more stable connection. If you are using Wi-Fi, ensure you are close to the router and that there are minimal obstructions. What you can also try is restarting your router to clear any network issues. Next, what I would recommend doing is optimizing your network settings. So you want to open your ports for better connection. What you can do is forward ports for EAFC24 on your router. Common ports for EA games include TCP 80443, 1935, 3478-3480, and for UDP it's 3074, 3478 to 3479. Also ensure that no other devices or applications are using that bandwidth. Next, what I would recommend doing is ensuring EAFC24 and your system software are up to date. So if you're on a console like an Xbox or PS5, what you want to do is check for game updates and system updates in the settings. If you're on PC, you want to update the game via the EA app or Steam and check for Windows updates. What you also want to do is optimize in-game settings. So you want to adjust graphic settings for better performance. What you can do is try lowering the resolution and graphic settings, such as textures, shadows, and effects. Also, turn off V-Sync and anti-aliasing if they are enabled. Now, if it is available to you, what you can do is switch to performance mode instead of quality mode for smoother gameplay. Also, make sure to close any background applications, so any unnecessary background applications. If you're on a PC, you can close off applications running in the background so that might be using CPU or memory. If you're on console, of course, make sure no other apps or games are running in the background, which can cause lag on EAFC24. So what you can try next is adjusting your power settings. So you want to ensure your device is set to high performance. On PC, what you want to do is go into your control panel and then power options and select high performance. If you're on console, you want to ensure you're not in power saving mode. Make sure as well that you do check the system requirements and that your PC does meet the minimum or recommended system requirements. So compare your system specs with the game requirements and upgrade hardware if necessary for a more smoother experience. Also make sure to optimize your disk space and ensure there's enough free space on your hard drive or SSD. So make sure to clear out any unnecessary files and applications. And you can also try defragmenting your hard drive if you are using a HDD. Although you don't have to do this if you are using an SSD. Now on Windows 10 and 11 there is a game mode so you can actually enable the game mode for optimized gaming performance. To do this you want to go into your PC settings, go into gaming, game mode and then turn it on. Now if all else fails what you can do is try reinstalling EAFC24. What you want to do is uninstall the game and then restore, reinstall it from your preferred platform whether that's the EA app, Steam or of course if you're on console that's going to be the console store. Now by following these steps you should be able to reduce all completely eliminate gameplay lag in EAFC24. Of course, start with checking your internet connection and optimizing your network settings. Then what you can do is adjust the in-game settings and of course ensure your system does meet the game's requirements. Now, if the problem does persist, what you can do is consider reaching out to EA support for further assistance. But with that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute. Thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.